it's Arit here. Welcome to the Esatino Artist Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own content calendar using a tool called Airtable. Now, I use Airtable for many different things. It's kind of like a spreadsheet on steroids, but it also allows you to upload image files as you see here. It allows you to use different kinds of functionality that a typical spreadsheet would not, like check marks, uh, calendars, all that kind of stuff. Some really cool stuff you could do here. I go into more detail showing you what the content calendar looks like in a video that I released last week. So in that video, I show you how to plan your social media content or how I plan my social media content using Airtable. But in this specific video, I'll show you how to actually create this template. So if you haven't seen that previous video, but you're interested, I'm going to put that in that link in the description below so you can check it out. So as you can see here, every single row is called a record in Airtable. And by the way, Airtable is free, free to use. They do have some paid options, but I've just been able to use the free version for, for my needs and it's been awesome. I'll put a link to Airtable as well in the description so you can check that out if you don't already have Airtable. But you can see here, every single row is a piece of content that I plan to release on these platforms. So I've set it up in a way where I have my text for the post, I have uh, an ability to choose which platforms I want to release it on. I like to categorize my content by topic so that I know I have a variety of, of posts and not just on one specific topic. As you can see here, I've set it up so that I can choose the different topics. I can upload the pictures directly on here so that when I'm ready to post, I can download them from Airtable directly. I put a date here, any links associated with the post also go here, hashtags, and a check mark whether or not I've posted it. And I've set it up in a way that if I have completed that post, or if it's already been published, and I click check mark here, it goes down to the bottom of the list. So you can see here everything else that hasn't been published yet, there's no check marks, They're, they stay on the top and everything that has been published just moves down to the bottom. So I'll show you how to create this template here. When you uh, set up your, you, you've signed up for an Airtable account, you'll see something like this in the back end. So they provide you with ready to go workspaces or spreadsheets. And they have one here called Digital Content Calendar. So they already provide you with this. But the thing is, is that it might not be exactly the way that you want it to look. So what I did was I clicked on this workspace and basically just customized it to the way that I wanted it to go. So this is the example that they provide. And you can see here, they have segregated it by different sections and, and topics here and just to show you here, so they have they have a headline, they have a subheadline. Um, this kind of looks more like a blog content calendar rather than social. Let's see here, social schedule. Um, so here, okay, they created two separate tabs, one for social schedule and one for blog. So you can see here, it looks a little bit different. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you how to create it from scratch, but I just wanted to quickly show this to you in case this is something more that you would want to use for your calendar, then you can easily just come in here, delete all of the information and just plug and play. So let me show you what it looks like to create it from scratch. We're going to go back to the workspace area and you're going to click on add a base. So we're going to click on start from scratch and then it'll ask you to title it. So you can go content calendar. I'm just going to put test so I know it's different from my other content calendar. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of this. It just wants you to choose an icon uh, so you know exactly what it is at a glance, but just make sure you name it. And then once you've done that, you can click out of it and click into it. And it's going to set you up like this with a pretty simple spreadsheet. So here's what I'm going to show you how to do is to create all of the columns that I have here on the top of my calendar. I'm going to show you how to create these. So first I like to have the text on the very left hand side of my spreadsheet. That's the first thing I want to see. So I want to make sure this is a text field and you can see here I'm going to click on customize field type 
and it's a single line of text. So I'm just going to change that to long text because sometimes, actually quite often, I like to write longer posts than a single line. So I'm going to leave that on long text, just hit save, and I'll just rename this by double clicking and I'm going to put post copy. All right, and then hit save. So next is they have a notes column, but what I've created is platform. So we're going to click on customize field type and it's going to be a multiple select column. So what this allows you to do is create certain options. And if that post goes on multiple platforms, I'm able to select you know, multiple platforms, how many ever apply. So we can just put Facebook group, we can put Facebook profile, uh, you can kind of load it up here, Instagram, Twitter, etc. You know, create all of your options here. And all I'm doing is just naming them and hitting enter to go to the next option. You can delete any of them if you make a mistake. And you can also change the color as well. Um, if you want it, you know, to associate better with the actual platform, you can do that as well. So let's say those are all of my options. I'm going to hit save. And then let's also rename the top here by double clicking. I'm going to put platform and again, hit save. So here's what we have so far. If I want to put, let's pretend this is the text for my post. And then if I'm going to hit tab on the on my keyboard here to go to the next column, I can select by clicking this plus sign. I can say, OK, I want it to go on in my Facebook group and Instagram and that's it. So this isn't actually going to post it on those platforms. Just just want to make that clear. This is just for you to organize your content to let you know where you need to post this piece of content on. So it makes it super clear when it comes time to actually publishing that piece of content. And that's the whole name of the game is to stay ahead of yourself. So, and organize your, your posts ahead of time so that you can easily just post it when it comes time to and not be scrambling last minute to think of a post idea. All right, so let's go to the next column. So again, I have a topic column. You don't have to have it if you don't want to, but the topic column is basically the multiple select as well. So customize field type, whoops, Cancel that multiple select topic. And this is basically whatever topics you categorize your content in. So maybe you have more promotional posts, you have more educational posts. Uh, you can go more specific as well. Maybe you have food posts or music posts, etc. Um, feel free to put that in there. And I'm going to hit save. All right, the next one is attachments. So any sort of image assets. So I'm gonna put image assets, pictures associated with that particular post. I'm gonna click on this drop down again and click on attachments. All right, so that's done. Let's click on the plus sign. So the plus sign is to add more columns. And if you ever wanna delete something, you've made a mistake, you can click on this little arrow here and um, select delete field and it will get rid of that for you. So the next one is date. So this is the date that I want to, that the post is going to be published on. That's a very important column. Let's go to customize field type again, select date. I'm gonna put publish date as my column heading. Uh, you can choose your date format here, customize it how you like. You can also include a time. Uh, so the time, exact time that you're gonna be publishing the post, you can hit save there. And so you can see here, when I double click on it, I can choose the date and as well as the time, which is awesome. That's really handy for Twitter especially. All right, next is link. So you can create a link column. Sometimes you put links along with your posts. So let's create that. Uh, instead of a text field, it's actually, you'll need to select this link field right here. The difference is basically that it will make it a clickable link. So if you ever wanted to 
refer back to it, you can always just click on it directly from Airtable rather than having to copy and paste the URL into the address bar. So for example, if I wanted to put a link to my website along with this post, I'd put that in there and then it'll make it clickable like that. All right, so next column is hashtags. Again, optional if you wanna put that. This is basically just a, a, a text column so that I can easily copy and paste into Instagram. And this checkbox is important as well to indicate whether you posted it or not. So let's create that. Select down here and click on checkbox. So this is a column to say whether it's posted or not and I'm gonna hit save. So there you have it, you have the checkbox there. Uh, image assets is super easy, you know, when you're planning your content, you would come in here and put all of your content ideas in a new, a new row. And so what you wanna do is set aside a certain amount of time to populate this, you know, set aside time to come up with, let's say, five new pieces of content a day or maybe you wanna set one day out of the week to come up with 30 pieces of content, meaning for, you know, however, whatever your posting calendar is. So you would come in here, populate everything, put in your text, select your platform, select the topic that it's associated with. You can literally drag and drop files in here, or you can click on the plus sign and uh, click on there to select from your your computer. You can also bring in images from your Google Drive, Dropbox, Instagram, Facebook. There's a lot of cool options here that you could do. And if you want to add, you know, your own columns, let's just click on here. I'll show you some of the other ones as well. So if you only want to be able to select one option, this might be helpful if, if for example, you want something like, let's say, a status progress status column where you're populating content for your blog. So you wanna put in here status, and then you would create multiple options of whether it's, so you could put not written yet, um, idea finalized, post written, blog post written, scheduled so you can put out different options here and then it will only allow you to select one so meaning you can't select multiple so you, you it would have to be changed to different statuses up here so let's see what else we can show you because you want to customize your content calendar for your specific purpose so if there's anything else in here that you need uh, you could put phone numbers email addresses i mean I use Airtable for a lot of other things, not just content calendar. I use it to track client projects. So there's other things here that are more applicable to those other projects. And one last thing I wanna show you as well is you can use, you can change your view up according to the filter option here. So if you only wanted to see all posts that go out on your Facebook group, you can, you can create ad filter and select the column platform and then you ask it to bring up everything that is being posted on your Facebook group and you can you'll only be able to see those so it you know you can customize your view here quite easily and to see the calendar view you know once you have all of this populated with dates and everything like I did over here you can select social calendar on the side here so that you could see everything at a glance. And what you can also do as well is you can populate all of these things without setting any publish dates and then go to your calendar view and you'll see all of the posts come up on the side and then you can easily drag and drop them into place like so. So you can do that as well and do a drag and drop rather than, um, rather than specifying dates as you're creating those records within your spreadsheet. So I just want to get rid of that. All right, so that's it guys. That's how you create your content calendar from scratch within Airtable. 
And like I said, there's many other customizations you could do with colors and all these cool things, but I just wanted to show you from a functional standpoint how to set up those columns. So you can go ahead and start loading up your content and organizing it all within this platform. So like I said, I will put the Airtable link in the description as well as the other video that I created showing you what my content calendar looks like. And if you enjoyed this video, please do let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. If you have any questions as well, please feel free to put that in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.